The idea for the co-op began about five years ago from UNM's Data to Knowledge Conference, which brought an interdisciplinary research community together around the common interest of improving how we use the plethora of new data available on the world today to create meaningful insights and better decisions. Success going forward will increasingly rely on having strong interdisciplinary teams behind these projects. And as New Mexico's only Carnegie designated R1 research institution, UNM rose to the challenge and began formulating a way to take this spirit of data to knowledge and use it to support efforts like this throughout the university. From here, the co-op was born. We've been lucky enough to have seven of the most collaborative centers and labs throughout the university join us in Pais to not only expand their capability as researchers, but to begin to create a foundation for future success within the university and beyond. Computational Genomics and Technology Lab, and this is a lab that I typically refer to simply as the Bioinformatics Lab. And this really grew out of uh, discussions that we've had with various faculty, particularly in the biology department, about what can we do to bring together researchers in the, in, uh, the biology department with computational people, such as myself, to answer some of the key, most important questions in biology these days. One of the key questions we're trying to develop right now is the new, new diagnostic for, um, for COVID, which is very timely given the current circumstances. New, uh, we're developing new technologies and new methods for, for rapid sequencing of the entire uh, coronavirus genome that can be used not just for diagnosis, but then tracing and understanding uh, transmission and where the disease is coming from. Our lab grew out of a long-term field research project with wild chimpanzees in Uganda. We faced a problem in that we wanted to know more about the social and ecological factors influencing animal health and physiology, so things like reproductive function, stress, and health. But we couldn't trap the chimps, we couldn't weigh them or take blood samples. So we developed lab protocols that would allow us to adapt common clinical methods for use with urine and feces. We've been doing this for over 20 years, and our lab now has a library of over 40,000 urine samples from chimps. We are the Center for Stable Isotopes, or CSI for short, CSI New Mexico. We have, for the first time in 60 years since these samples were returned from the moon, they've been opened this year, and we are going to analyze these pristine samples to figure out what they're made of and what the moon is made of and how it was formed. We now really have a, a large group that talks about their different ideas and comes up with new research directions that we wouldn't get without being interdisciplinary. Our lab is called the Laboratory of Magneto-Optical Spectroscopy, and in this lab we uh, measure the uh, optical response to small magnetic fields, and the materials we're interested in are photovoltaic materials or solar energy materials. Optical component, which uh, wiggles the polarization of the light, and then we bring it through a sample that stands in between two magnets, and then we can measure the polarization changes as it goes through. We hope that we will use these measurements to understand more about how solar energy is converted to electricity. We also take pride in our continued success to enhance the research capabilities we have at UNM. An excellent example is our recently funded $2.5 million NSF project to acquire a state-of-the-art scanning transmission electron microscope. This new instrument is a true atomic resolution instrument with a configuration that will be the first of its kind installed anywhere in the US, putting UNM at the cutting edge of research capabilities available anywhere in the world. This instrument will enable numerous new exciting research opportunities on the UNM campus for understanding the behavior of natural and synthetic materials at a completely new level. Quantum information science is an exploding field with lots of new opportunities for students in industry, in national laboratories, in academia, and all across many disciplines. Our lab is called the Center for Quantum Information and Control, called CQIC. We stand on a strong foundation of 25 years of research and development here at UNM and have been one of the pioneers in quantum information science. One of the exciting things about PAIS is our interdisciplinary science center, which brings together not only CQIC, but a whole variety of other centers which can collaborate and work together across disciplines. And this is the future. PAIS is gonna let us do that. 
In addition to serving as the faculty coordinator for the co-op, I'm also the director of the Center for the Advancement of Spatial Informatics Research and Education, or ASPIRE, which researches novel ways to collect and analyze spatial data. Think maps, satellite and drone imagery, tweet locations, or the harvest location of a particular biological or geological sample. ASPIRE uses geographic information science, which uses the universal language of space and time as organizing principles, to integrate and analyze spatial data from most any source. The main thing that these centers and labs have in common is their extensive collaborations with individual principal investigators, centers, and labs throughout the country and the world. Because the co-op is dedicated to fostering these relationships, our space within Pais was built specifically to bring people together in the pursuit of shared knowledge. Our conference room's walls masquerade as whiteboards, and the 4K screen with state-of-the-art AV inside the room is perfect for video conferencing to bring together extended collaborators. The co-op room can bring together large groups for one presentation or allow them to break into smaller groups, complete with multiple computer plugins and stationary as well as movable whiteboards to inspire ideas. Finally, in the visualization lab, 18 4K screens fuse into one to enable researchers to visualize big data to a level of detail only found in about three other places in the world. The adjoining workroom is designed for code training and breakout group work turning the video wall next door from a research tool into a research training tool. We are incredibly excited to share this new space and this new way of thinking about research and research training with our students and faculty and our extended community and look forward to future collaborations that not only advance UNM's standing as an R1 research institution, but make positive impacts on our community as a whole.